What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we took on Mura, got our very first Pokemon, beat Mura, and I pretty much surprised the hell out of all of you guys because, yes, we are doing another hack game right here. Yeah, it's pretty surprising right there. So... Let's see, I don't even know what we're going to be doing next. I think we have to go into the next town. Now, what I've noticed is that there is no Pokemon Center around here. And, well, let's see. Well, my Pokemon's healed, I think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take. Is it fully healed? Uh, yes it is. Okay. So, it's fully healed, and we're going to have to go into the next town right here. Now, there is one big downfall to this, is that there is no Pokemon Center around here, and... The next area we have to go to is a cave, and well, yeah, we're going to have to stock up in a lot of stuff right here. So, let's go ahead and stock up in five Pokeballs, and get as many potions as possible. Okay, so that, okay, so, alright, so we're going to have to get five potions, and let's see, three antidotes, and what else? A paralysis heal. Okay, so, I, I kind of feel like we're investing our money uh, properly and all that stuff. Now, one thing that I discovered is that you press the B button right here, you can actually go fast. It doesn't even look like that, but you can. So, let's see, our next destination is the Merson Cave, and, well, here it is, Merson Cave, Merson Cave, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but there are a lot of interesting Pokemon right here, and, well... Where there's a lot of interesting Pokemon, there are interesting people becoming a Pokemon trainer. Mm-hmm. And here it is. We are taking on a youngster. And, well, we're going to be taking on a lot of Pokemon right now. Now, the thing is, I haven't had a team uh, lined up or anything. I don't know what Pokemon come in here. I kind of feel like some Johto Pokemon are going to be in here mainly because of the intro and whatnot. So, that's probably what's going to happen right there, is that we're going to be going in and out of the whole place right here. And look at this, Sunny has grown to level 7 and has learned Leech Seed, so now we are covering our, our tracks with the, you know, a little bit of a, the, 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 the whatchamacallit, the, the healing and all that stuff. Now, I don't know guys, again, I don't know what Pokemon I, I, I want to choose, but I'm going to try and capture most of these Pokemon that are around here. That way, I don't have to be wasting my PP right here, because uh, from what I've noticed, this area right here is a little... Well, it's, it's pretty long for a beginning cave and all that stuff. Right off the bat, we're going out of a cave, so that right there is interesting. And, well, there we go. Kicking butt, taking names, Raditz coming out. Let's go with another tackle attack. And a critical hit, so here comes another tackle attack. Look at that. Okay, tackle attack. Oh, dang it! Nearly did it! Okay, so here we go. Another tackle attack for the win. Say goodbye. Let's go, Sunny. And we have defeated another youngster. Again, this is a hack game. A lot of different things. And, well, we're going to be finding some items right here, like an escape rope, just, just in case. And, well, we're going to be taking on our first Pokemon. And here we have a Diglett, so... Like I said, guys, I'm going to try and capture as many Pokemon as possible. We not the ones that I don't want. And then bring in, put in the ones that I do need just for this whole thing. Now, the mission is that, yeah, they, 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 there's going to be a little bit of an issue with an HP and potions and all that stuff. So we're going to throw a Pokeball at this guy right here. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Yes, sir. Okay. So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a Diglett. And, well, let's go ahead and see what we got right here. So here is Diglett, the mole Pokemon. Lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots. It somewhat, or sometimes, appears above ground. Okay, very fast Pokemon. I think I might give it a nickname just in case I want him on my team. Let's see. It's a Diglett. It's a mole Pokemon. You know what? Let's go ahead and call it, uh... Earthquake would have been a good one, but let's go ahead and call this guy Tundra. That's right. Or wait, wait, wait. Is that is that cold? I don't even know. You know what? Screw it. Let's go with Mudslide. So here we go. Or Mudball. Mudslide or Mudball? Mudball. Let's go with Mudball. Let's go with Mudball. Highly doubt that we're gonna have this Pokemon on our team or something like that. So 
Here we are going up against another trainer, and well, before we go against this, here we have a Zubat. And to me, I'm already thinking, yes, let's go ahead and grab a Zubat and crap baskets. Ooh, yeah, we are... We are in deep... You know what? Okay, and wow, we're missing! Okay, so here we are taking on a Zubat. And Zubat's already kicking our butts right here, and we need to just like lower it down just a little bit. Oh god, okay, so we're at 8 HP. Come on! There we go. You know what? Chances are I might be using the uh, speed button just to get around this whole place. This is a hack game, so it is what it is right here. And, well, look at that. Yeah, Zubat's attack is nothing but healing. And, well, let's go ahead and use another Pokeball right here. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. Stay in the ball. Yes. Look at that, guys. We got ourselves another Pokemon. And it is Zubat. The bad Pokemon uh, forms colonies in perpetually dark places. Uses ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. Yes, I will be nicknaming this Pokemon right here. You guys already know it. You guys already know I love it. So here we go. Welcome back to the team. Toxic Batman. Bat. And thankfully it... Yes, Toxic Batman. Okay. So, we got three Pokemon right here. We'll be safe, but we do have an escape rope right here. Let's go ahead and use that escape rope, heal up, and then come back into this cave right here. So, here we are back into the lab, and let's go ahead and run back up to Mama's house. Now, the only place right now you can actually heal is at your mom's place. So, I'm just going to show you guys what you can actually do or what you can actually see right here. So, let's go back to Mom. Talk to Mom. And yes, we are going to take a quick rest right here. So whose idea was it to not put Pokemon Centers in the next town? It's beyond me. I don't know. So here we are, running back. You guys don't know it? Yeah, I'm running back. Anywho, while I'm going back into this cave right here, I, I, I can explain to you guys what motivated me to get back on a, on a hat game. Well, it's very simple, guys. Uh, after last year, where this whole pandemic started, you know, I came with a barrage of, uh, of, of Pokemon games and all, and it turned out to be for the best because, holy crud, we've gotten a lot of subscribers, which is great, and it's all thanks to these, uh, these games that I've been putting out, including Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Now, I've always had Pokemon Brown on my radar for another hack game. I just didn't know when I was going to come out with, and after the whole events of Pokemon, uh, of Pokemon Liquid Crystal, I was like, you know what, I'm going to take a small break from hack games. Didn't know it was going to be a complete year doing that whole thing. Actually glad that I'm doing this right now because, you know, I kind of feel like you guys deserve a little bit more than just main games right here. Now, as you can see, we are taking on a Pikachu. Not effective at it whatsoever. And, well, Tackle Attack's not doing much, so let's go ahead with the Leech Seed, since this guy is going to take away our... He's going to take away our ability to, like, do anything, and crap, I kind of wasted a... Yeah, okay, kind of wasted a turn right there. Thankfully, we got Leech Seed, and, well, let's go ahead and switch out to Mud Ball right here, because we're take we're going to take away this guy's capability of hurting us or anything. The only thing we're going to have to experience is that Growl Attack... Luckily for us, we got Leech Seed, it works out for everybody, and, well, look at that, we're slowly beating this Pikachu, let's go with a Scratch Attack, and thankfully these Pokemon don't have any kind of uh, abilities right here, alrighty, so here we go, a Scratch Attack again, come on Mudball, that's right, we're using the ability, or we're using Type Advantage to our in advantage, or, yeah, you guys already know what I'm talking about right here, so here we go, Growl Attack, and yes, we are hitting this guy twice. Yes, okay. Oh, damn. Nearly beats this guy. And here we go again with another Leech Seed for the win. Sunny gains experience to level 8, which is great. And Mudball gains some experience. So here comes a Clefairy. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go back to the heavy hitter, which is uh, Sunny right here. Alrighty, okay. So let's do the same thing. Leech Seed, that way we don't get to miss out on anything. I hear this Pokemon likes to sing, 
And if, it, if, if you're gonna be singing, I'm going to be zapping, okay? So let's go with a tackle attack, misses, and well... My biggest issue right now is that we keep on missing with that tackle attack, so here we go. Tackle attack yet again, look at that, and uh, growl attack is going to keep on lowering our attack power. Alright, don't worry, we're hitting this Pokemon twice. And... Oh, there's another pound attack right there. Look at that. Zapping it away. Let's go with a tackle attack right here. Oh my god. Come on! Let us beat you. Look at that. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. A tackle attack yet again, and it does it. Say goodbye to Clefairy. And Sunny grows to level 9. Alrighty. We're working with something. We are working with something. Okay, so it is a good idea to actually capture some of these Pokemon around here. And here we have a Geodude. Now, I really do want to capture this guy right here because he could prove useful. You know, he could prove useful and all that stuff. Okay, uh, yeah, we're going to be wasting a little bit of tackle attacks right here. We don't have any kind of effective moves on this guy. And yes, we are zapping him away. We don't have to worry about anything. I guess we're going to have to waste another tackle attack. And that was a critical hit. Alright, big boy. You, you're getting zapped. Okay, here we go. Tackle attack again. Come on! This Geodude is... Uh, well, the only attack it has right now, it's a... Uh, yeah, tackle attack right here. So let's go, Pokeball. Come on! Stay. 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 Yes. Look at that. We captured another Pokemon, and that is Geodude. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy, and well, it is uh, found in the fields of mountains, mistaking them for boulders. People often step or trip on them. Oh crud, that sucks. Okay, so we already know what kind of nickname we're going to give this guy. We're going to name him Dude, because he's that dude. He is that dude. Okay, so moving forward right here, hopefully we don't get attacked by any other Pokemon. I don't know. We'll see. And let's see, there is another trainer right here. Let's go ahead and take him on. I'm lost. Can you tell me the way out of here? Uh, the way you came in. I mean, geez. And here we have a bug catcher, and he'll be coming out with a Caterpie. Now, many of you guys already know Caterpie, not that, uh, not that strong. So this could be a good. Uh, this could be actually good for some of the Pokemon that I've actually captured. The only sucky part is that you know Zubat does not know any kind of like flying type attacks just yet. And here we have getting a tackle, and look at this. Tackle attack for the win. And Sunny's gaining levels. Here comes out a Weedle. So let's go right ahead and use Mudball right here. Mudball could withstand Weedle, probably. I don't know. Let's go ahead and scratch attack this guy. Look at that. Okay, so it's a critical hit, and here comes a String Shot. Obviously, Weedle recognizes that we're a little faster than this guy. And there's a poison sting attack, not so much. Look at this, okay, here we go. Another string shot, trying to make us super slow. The only way to slow down Mudball is through the string shot. So there it is, another scratch attack. Come on! We can do this. Let me drink my water. Drinking water, okay. It is summer, guys, make sure to hydrate, okay? And wow! Alrighty, so here we are poisoned. And that was a critical hit. We're going to get hurt. And let's go with one more attack right here. And look at that. Scratch attack for the win. Say goodbye to Weedle. Okay, alrighty. And look at this. Mudball grows to level 5. And it learned Growl. Okay, so that's not the move that I was expecting. But, hey, we're starting out. So here comes a Caterpie. I don't want to use Toxic Batman because its moves won't do anything. So let's go with Dude right here. Give it a potion. It doesn't really matter. It will withstand anything, especially these tackle attacks right here. It's only going to take one HP. And look at this. Okay, so here comes a string shot. Yes, we are doing, we are doing the best we can right here in Pokemon Brown. Okay, 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 and there we go again. Alrighty, alrighty. Look at that. Look at that, okay, and uh, well, it's gonna take four turns for, the, for this Caterpie to beat me. 
And well, we are in, supposedly in the red, so let's go right ahead and give a potion to dude right here. Thankfully, it does have some pretty good defenses. Won't get defeated by this guy so easily. So let's go, a tackle attack, and well, there's a string of shot. A string of shot, uh, really, really to beat us, and uh, well, here we go. There it is, and there's the tackle attack. Look at you, okay, alrighty. And we got ourselves to level five for dude. Okay, okay, so yes, we are doing the best possible, but they are giving us a little bit of money and crud. I completely forgot about this guy, so let's go ahead and heal up Mudball. And well, let's go ahead and just continue on right here. Like I said, this is a very, very long uh, area right here. And well, we're gonna be finding a repel, which could be useful for, you know, repelling any kind of Pokemon that you don't want to get attacked by, and, well, let's go ahead and grab some items, like this. We found ourselves a rare candy, which we will be using on whatever Pokemon we, uh, we have. Uh, let's see, let's see. Anywho, uh, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna stay put right here, guys. This is going to be a while, and I kind of want to shorten down the episodes for you guys, especially in hack games right here. So stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be coming back into this uh, cave, the Mersan Cave, and getting the heck out of here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.